Hello. <clears throat> so this question is covering concepts of u substitution and being able to rewrite a definite integral as presented by you. I've rewritten it as integral from 5 to 8 of 10x minus 4 in the numerator divided by the quantity 5x squared minus 4x plus 9 raised to the power of 15 in the integrals taken in respect to dx. What is being asked of you is take this integral as is and rewrite it that some number a, like on the interval from a to b, taking this integral, uh, bottom bound a, top bound b, of some new function as a function of u, because of the u, u substitution, and taking the integral in respect to u. So if you've seen practices of u substitution, um, to do anything else other than trying to simplify the denominator has caused just major issues. The best practice that I've seen people do is say, hey, let's take something about the denominator and say, that's what I want my u to be my, for my u substitution. So on the inside of the power of 15, I'm going to say, let's, let's make u equal to 5x squared minus 4x plus 9. So then uh, taking, it's, it's weird, like if you do the D of both sides, is sort of what you end up doing. It's like taking the derivative, but then not really into respect of something. It's just whatever the D ends up getting to ends up being the DX portion. So the D of just regular X goes DX. 5X squared goes to 10X DX. So they both have DX on them and it factors out. You could have gotten the same result if you did do uh, du over dx equaled the derivative of the other side in respect to x. There's many ways that you can go about showing the u substitution correctly. And thankfully to uh, our amazement, the 10x minus 4 is exactly what's in your numerator. So your u substitution is just going to look like as follows. That now the 10x minus 4x dx, which is numerator, turns to du if our u is the 5x, my, 5x squared minus 4x plus 9, then the bottom rewrites to u to the 15th, which is the same thing as the integral from a to b of u to the negative 15th du, which is to fit our g of u du uh, original problem. Um, so, but now we have to figure out what actual bounds a and b are whenever you do it for u. Now, technically, whenever we did the u substitution, we made a new function, something, some u function, and we made it depend on x. So we technically can fill in bounds for those values and figure out what the respective uh, u values would be for u of 5 and u of 8. Meaning plug, in, plug 5 anywhere, anywhere you see an x and get that value, and plug anywhere you see an 8 and get that value. And that allows you to rewrite your integral that way. You can double check on your calculator those values. Um, I've done it multiple times online just to make sure I'm doing it correctly. And that should mean that your u substitution, u substitution says u is equal to that, that value, that du is equal to that equation, 10x minus 4 quantity times dx, a being 114, b being 297, and the g of u function that you're now taking the integral of is u to the negative 15th. Thank you. I hope this helps. Uh, you can message me on the site if there are any further questions that you have. Thank you. Have a good day.